I pop blows hearts and wants Igbo politician to stop using Martin Nandokano's illegal detention for politicking. The noble and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP led by the great leader Mazi Namdi Oku Kano, wish to warn some of the Igbo acclaimed politicians and leaders to stop using the name of Mazi Namda Kano for their selfish political gain. The IPOP leader Mazi Namda Kano is not languishing in the DSS for solitude. In the DSS solitary confinement for Nigerian politics, but for the freedom of Biafrans and to restore Biafra nation. IPOP worldwide has avowed that the unjust persecution and illegal incarceration of Mazen Nanda Kano is being used as a tool to advance political ambitions by some Igbo politicians. We also understand that some of them are afraid of Mazen Nanda Kano's release from the illegal detention. Hence, as if we're working with the Nigerian government to keep him in the DSS, solidarity confinement for the selfish potential, for the selfish political reasons. Some of these Abuja psychophants take glory on the success of the indigenous people of Biafra to resuscitate their dwindling political influence in the southeast. We are watching them closely. We are advising them to stop taking glory of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP successes all be called out publicly. He, however, we commend those patriotic and sincere Igbo politicians and leaders who are generally working for the release of Mazen of the Kano. We remind them never to give up. Okay, we encourage them rather never to give up. We are taking stock of everyone's work for or against IPOP among the Igbo leaders and politicians. In due time, everyone will be given, we receive the reward, whether it will be good or bad. We want the Nigerian government and her political jobbers from the Southeast to understand that as long as Mazenam the Kano is illegally detained, the Nigerian economy and security will continue to be in shambles. Those using the suffering and incarceration of Mazenam the Kano and IPOP members to advance their political interests will be disappointed and will watch how IPOP will scuttle the political ambitions of those from the East. They should understand that IPOP is in control of the Southeast. IPOP commends the Igbos for adhering to instructions of IPOP leadership not to participate in the NBAD governance protest in Nigeria. Though the Igbos are highly marginalized and ostracized politically and economically, we have built survivor resilience through decades of persecution in Nigeria. If the Igbos had taken part in the protest, the ethnic bigoted federal government would have sent many troops to destroy Igbo land and murder many Igbo civilians. IPOP has the interest and safety of our people at heart, even as we continue to strategize on Biafra's freedom. We advise the Igbo to jettison the idea of some people using the name of, Namda, of Maz and Namda Kano in advancing their selfish political interests. Some of the social media talks about visiting Maz and Namda Kano in detention are working, and working for his release are just political rhetoric. IPOP has nothing to do with many of them until Mazenam the Kano is out of the illegal abduction and detention from DS at headquarters in Abuja. To do as the suffering of Mazenam the Kano to advance their political interests, you desist. Otherwise, IPOP will call you up publicly and also frustrate your political interest in the Southeast. The Igbo should know that as long as Mazenam the Kano is still in legal detention, the Igbo will remain politically irrelevant in Nigeria. Well, they're talking to their own, no? They're talking to their own, say, make politicians, their own politicians stop. Because, see, and check them now. I'd always hear, say, some people go meet, say, they even call their name now. Hoku Zodima and be like, say, the current governor of Inugu State. I be which person? I be na the minister of, no. You understand? Hoku Zodima and one other person go outside. I mean, they go, they, I hear, say, they go see President Buhari on top of Mazinam the Kanama. And me, as I hear, I say, ah, these people. Then go meet President Buhari, say on top of their brother, Mata, not lie. I just can't say not lie. This thing not lie. Say if they let me, they come outside tomorrow, come say, ah, then they play before they go outside. You lie, lie, say, I know if you believe them. I know if it's until this man, really, they talk about come outside. You know, say last time, about two years ago, they tell this man, say, in the acquitted and discharged. This man, then hold and then still for prison. So until this man come up for day, now we see Uncle Rogoro saying, no, they for that kind of place again. <laughs> We do not even know who to believe in this unfortunate suffering. And Namde Kano is suffering inside Kujejo. Namde Kano. 
in am the canoe is suffering in inside Kujie jail. He's not in jail, though. He's in DSS custody, please. In am the nam the according to some people was redentitioned. Re, re My first time of hearing that word from Kenya and since then, the poor man was kept under solitary confinement and condition. His wife left with other people. Gross means huge. Okay. His wife left with other people. Gross. It means huge in Deutschland. Let's not even go there. So my thoughts are always with him and the family who will never know as Watatik entered the keg. Now, whether iPod or Waziriki. Toh. And those understand Nigeria. It is either you try to it is either you try try him or let him go. You cannot put him in detention for life. My dear, on top of this matter, they don't talk, 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 they don't tire. Even this man, there's a particular man that actually went there when Buhari was there. The man don't die now. The man don't die and still yet they never released this man. Not only this man, oh, they said this man eh, he did this one, he did that one. Even Yoruba, this uh, what's it called? This uh, Sunday Buhu will be say he to come outside, they do Yoruba must go, Yoruba nation, you understand. And so they release that man. Even if they won't even talk, the so called Boko Haram, they go as I know they call, I know I know to say they be decent to you, but the so called People be say they be boko around. People will go outside and go the go the slaughter people like animals. Those people they don't call them repentant boko haram. They don't even carry our money, buy these people clothes, buy them food, buy them whatever. They can't do work. Tell me why it's supposed to be like this. For person will be say they come outside, they talk, say, make them letting people go. That is a new political capital for the southeastern criminals. They are now competing among themselves who was the first to make move for the release of Mazinam the Kano. The more Nigerian DSS continues holding Mazinam the Kano, the more calamity will continue to ravage in Nigeria until she disappear from the face of this planet and nothing can stop it. Tor. Mazinam the Kano's prolonged prison incarceration is to remind Igbo that none has a voice to make governments change their old antics. Another marginalization. And Amda Kano could only be released through divine intervention, as the government of the day is afraid of him because of his overwhelming voice. He is the Nelson Mandela of our time. At the time God has appointed, he would regain his freedom and actualize his dream of Biafra. It is certainly not far from now. So me, this one, they follow the people they talk, Sha. Say, you know it's him. The politicians, like I said, are they always here? Especially this period, they say, oh, they get people come outside, do. Then they talk about this man, matter this one. And I'm like, okay. You understand that they try to be this also okay, but yet again, I can't see say the matter can't drop. So I'm not surprised this and where I pop don't come outside again. Can't see so that they use this man, this thing name, they gain a day, they use them for political gains. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning to listen until I come here next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.